here today. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 85 of the vlog. We've done 85 of these things. That is a lot. That's 85 a lot. So, some of the videos that I've uploaded this past week, I uploaded one video on Friday. Remember, I was like, let's try to stick to like a Monday vlog and then just any type of Friday video and then we'll just kind of add them on. Anyways, I uploaded a video on Friday and it was actually gameplay, can you believe it? It was uh, some Portal 2 co-op type stuff, well, it was more like competition. It was a custom map called like Jello, Jilo City, I can't even pronounce it. It was a custom map that I found on the Steam Workshop and Larissa and I played it. Larissa from The Lost Blogger, if you haven't caught on to that quite yet. And we had a blast. It was like this racetrack map and it was hilarious because there was a lot of just banter going back and forth because it was a competition to win the race. And of course there was the opportunity to die a lot, but Larissa totally died more than I did. So if you haven't watched that video yet, please feel free to go watch it and enjoy it. Make sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. And let us know in the comments if you would like to see us. There's like two other race maps for it. And um, I mean, there's a plethora of other maps for Portal 2. So let us know and we'll do it a lot more often because we really enjoy playing Portal 2 together. I kind of like... I. I know that I've been wearing a Doctor Who shirt all day, but it just like hit me because the 12th Doctor has been announced and I was like, oh, there's only 11 Doctors on here, so I'm not going to have the 12th one on here. I hope that they make another Oceans like Doctors 11, but like Doctors 12 with all 12 Doctors on there. That would be amazing. I would buy that shirt in a heartbeat because this is like one of my favorite shirts ever. Yeah, I'm a total... I still need to catch up on season 7 of Doctor Who. I'm the worst Doctor Who fan ever. I haven't even finished watching it and I heard it was a pretty fantastical season. So yeah, bad fan. So not a whole lot's been going on with me. I mean, just working. I went and got my hair cut. Um, unfortunately, it's up in a ponytail because it's uh, Sunday, even though you're not going to see this till Monday and it's a Monday vlog and I know that's confusing. But um, I cut it back short, as you can tell from the teeny ponytail, and I have bangs again, but they're currently pinned up because sometimes it gets obnoxious stuffy face, you know, that, that gets annoying sometimes. I'm just going to move on to some of the games that I've played this past week because I have a lot more to talk about in that area than just general life stuff because I've just been working. I bought myself some new pillows. That was great. Um, I got all my stuff done so I can pretty much just sit around and do nothing all weekend because I got all my chores and grocery shopping stuff done. Yeah. So, anyways, um, big news. Um, some of you are going to be like, Kristen, I'm playing World of Warcraft again. <laughs> I'm subscribed again. I'm doing that again. I just come and go when I please. I play for about a month or two, get bored, leave for a couple months, come back again. So I'm playing that again. Um, one of my buddies in my clan um, recently got into World of Warcraft. It was ne never really his cup of tea. He just kind of had some experience with it here and there. And it took him a little while to get to level 20, and of course I jokingly laughed. I was like, I can do 20 in like three days. You can do it in less, but I was just giving myself three days of, you know, just some time to prove my point, <laughs> just in case I got called out on it. And I did. They said, prove it. And I was like, okay, I can do this. So I subbed back up again because I was trying to prove that I could do 20 in a short amount of time. It's like the worst. I ended up doing it in two days, Friday and Saturday. It took me 11 hours without any heirlooms, without any um, guild experience boosts, like no experience enhancers whatsoever. It took me 11 hours. And it was really funny when I sat down and did the math, like if I had both of those things, both of those experience enhancers, and I managed to tank all the dungeons after I hit 15, I seriously could have done level 20 in like three to five hours, sickeningly fast. So... I was really proud of myself. It was really fun. Like, it just turned into, like, a challenge for myself, you know. Hmm, how quickly can I get to 20 without any experience enhancers whatsoever? So I totally did that. I'm leveling a Pandaren monk and having a blast. I'm really just actually playing through with the monk now, and I'm having a lot of fun with the monk. The monk is a really fun class. I'm just DPS right now, but um, once I get more ballsy, I'll probably try to tank or heal as my off spec, so... Yeah, playing World of Warcraft again, so maybe I can do some videos on that. I also played a little bit of Worms Revolution. That game is a lot of fun, like, 
I've never really had any experience with Worms. I've had experience with other games similar to it, like Gunbound, if anyone remembers that game from way back in the day. I think it's still going, but it's really just heavily microtransaction based. Um, but that game was fun because you had, like, you know, your moves, your little dudes, and their little tanks and stuff like that, and you would blast stuff. And it was the same concept as Worms. So I played that today, and I actually recorded some of that and played it with some other people, so that will be hopefully uploaded this upcoming Friday. Um, it went a little longer than expected, so I'm going to have to really edit it and cut it down a little bit because it's a lot of stuff, and that could just get a little boring. You don't want to sit through, like, 20, 30 minutes of stuff. So yeah, I played that today, and that was a lot of fun. Like, I seriously need to play that game a lot more because that was that was a blast. And, of course, I've been playing Animal Crossing because I just can't stop playing that game. I just can't stop. Like, I have big plans. My sister's been doing, like, these flower trails in her, her town and, like, these orchards. And she's been doing all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, I want little trails made out of flowers. And I haven't really messed with that. The whole flower breeding thing part of it. And I haven't done that yet. And I want to do it. So, yeah. I'm just... I'm going to keep playing Animal Crossing for the rest of my life. That 3DS version is fantastic. New Leaf, if you haven't played that and you have a 3DS, you're missing out. And one last thing. This really wasn't a game that I haven't even played this yet, but I bought it. So I guess technically I should have talked about it before, but I'm talking about it now. Um, Gamefly was having a sale, and they had Tomb Raider on sale for $12.49, I think it was. Kind of the same price that it was on Steam during the Steam Summer Sales, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend nearly $13 on Tomb Raider, even though I really want to play it because I heard it was fantastic. So I got a hold of a 20% off code when I was on Reddit and totally got Tomb Raider for $9.99. Totally did that. I thought that was a more justifiable price, you know, so I totally picked that up. And thinking about picking up Papers, Please for the full price of $9.99, I'm not entirely sure yet. Like, I feel like Kristen, I know you want to play this game right now, and you want to play it for hours, but you should just wait because during the winter sale, it's probably going to go on sale, and you can get it for cheaper, and you won't have, you know, to be spending the full $9.99 price. So, yeah, I'm holding out on it and trying not to buy it, but I really want to buy it because that game just looks like addicting fun. I don't know what it is about games where you have to do work and chores. That just makes it so much fun because I don't like working and doing chores in real life. So, that just makes no sense. I don't understand that. If anyone has figured that out, let me know in the comments. My neighbor, like, she, like, mega sneezed multiple times. Like, I clearly heard her through the wall. And these are brick walls. Like, that was just, like, someone sneezing and it's not me. It's creepy. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a close. Make sure to go down in the comments and let me know anything that you've been doing this past week, any of the games that you've been playing this past week. If you enjoyed some of the videos that I've uploaded this past week, all that fun stuff, I love going into the comments and replying back because you guys are awesome. Someone had replied back to a comment let me know about something in the last vlog, and it was hilarious. I would love to see more of that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a close before I start rambling on. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, this week's vlog. And if you really enjoyed it and really liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Just go down in the comments and be like, you're awesome. I really like that. And I will see everybody next week for another episode of the vlog. Later. You better hope I die a lot. You're on. I'm wishing every moment that you fucking die a lot. Come on. I'm stuck now and forever.